Yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah so today is a full day, will be uh, all three talks uh, me and then uh, Fabian and Pranav, and it's, it's kind of different aspects of the same thing which you discussed already for many years and spent many hours on this room feeling all things with pictures. Yeah, so with the various uh, aspects. Yeah, so first I'll start with some. I prepared something. Uh, um, and very elementary uh, story about stability in uh, for quivers. So suppose we have a finite quiver, okay. vertices and arrows, finitely many, and for each vertex I have a complex number in upper half plane. Then that's the representation of a quiver, finite dimensional spaces, morphisms for each arrow, and the sample charge is defined with this linear finish. So we we'll gain number in some upper half plane, and that's the easiest case when you have for free stability on some transverse category. In fact, here will be a billion category. We can take representation of theta stable, the theta angle in for number in from some first plane. If argument of the sink is theta, and for any proper sub representation, argument is, uh, and there's no representation when the argument is greater than equal to theta. Uh, if you put uh, strict inequality, you get uh, more. Mm. Uh, larger class things which called theta semi stables. And the semi, st the semi stables are just extension theta stables. Yeah, and any any or any quiver, any representation have canonical Hardener Simon filtration. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, now uh, there is uh, if you over complex numbers, uh, there is a characterization of something which is between stables and poly uh, semi-stables called polystables, direct sum of stables for given theta, not extensions called direct sums. And characterization is the following. It's, uh, uh, it's a reformulation of old result by Alistair King uh, uh, and says the following. Uh, the representation is polystable if and only if there exists a collection of Hermitian norms, so new, which collection of norms new V on vector spaces, uh, such the following holds. So norms are play role in the notion of permission conjugate. T alpha will be operators for my arrows, I choose. And I take the following operator as a direct sum. It will be a uh, linear combination of projectors plus uh, sum of commutants. It's easy to see that this guy is a normal operator. It's not uh, self adjoint, but uh, imaginary part commute is real part. Imaginary part is just linear combination of projectors. Mm. And so for such a thing, we can speak about its argument. It has eigenvalues, which are numbers and upper half plane. We say that if this operator has argument theta, uh, uh, then this guy is polystable and uh, this is a characterization. <laughs> no, so it's, it's a corollary of JIT theory. Is, is it uh, analogous to theorem of Narasinka and Steve Shadri? No, I think it's analogous to Donaldson and Yao Ullenbeck uh, story, and uh, <laughs> which is a generalization. Yeah, it's all same. Yeah, yeah, but uh, but this equation, it's kind of uh, equation in linear algebra, some nice equation, yeah, but it's a kind of finite analog of Hermitian Young Wills equation in, uh, in some pretty precise what kind sense. What is that? Sorry, so what, what, what multiplies ZV? Multiply by projection. Pro Projector of one dimension? No, to in a direct sum, I have projector to the summand. Or EV, I can bring. Oh, it's like unit operator on the vector on, the, on E sub V? Unit operator on E sub V, and uh, yeah, it's kind of block diagonal matrix. Yeah. So it's, it's, not, it's not Hermitian because Z, Z is a complex number? It is a complex number, yeah. yeah so, so we have this uh, simple result. And now, what about non-Archimedean field? E instead of C. Uh, ah, by the way, I think uh, I will call something like harmonic norms. It's the harmonic representatives of uh, Uh, what are harmonic norms? Mm. Yeah, so so uh, 
Let, let's do the simplicity of the following thing. K will be a moment of ring associated to can form power series with real exponents with coefficients and smaller fields. It's kind of the residue field. So our argument equal pattern means that for all eigenvalues argument is It means that this <coughs> operator is exponent length is theta times positive definite permission. Yeah, so let's take, uh, for simplicity, the Snovikov field and <coughs> take the same view, the same set of charges. Then we have uh, a bunch of triangulated categories. So we get CK will be uh, representations of Weaver. You can write something like this. It's complexes of modules of the past algebra, <coughs> which are uh, perfect complexes finite complexes of the vector space of a K. And it's uh, it's triangulated category and it contains, yeah, in all my talk, it's the triangulated categories will play really no role. It contains a billion category, heart of T structure, heart of T structure, which will be a billion category AK, which will be finite dimensional presentations. In degree zero. It's a billion category and it has this notion of stable objects. In it. Yeah, then there is a, a, another category, C4K, which will be the representations of a ring of integers. Kind of deform deformation small parameter. And it contains A OK. It's not a heart of this structure. It will be representations in three finite rank OK modules. It's not a billion. This guy is not a billion. <coughs> uh, and of course, there is a specialization. Uh, morphism, you, you just tensor. Okay, okay. Get from the, you can go from here, you get representation. Uh, you get kind of representation of a, a residue field and kind of small deformation of form power series. And then uh, there is a uh, uh, specialization, it's also this localization story, CK, uh, which is contains but not equal to uh, the same thing which you can write here. It's not equal. Mm. Uh, uh, this will be again triangulated category. All the categories are triangulated. And it contains genuine abelian category AK, which are representation of a K, finite dimensional, which admits model of a ring of integer. So not every representation uh, is like this. For example, if you have a loop on a quiver and eigenvalue has absolute value bigger than one, then that doesn't mean the model. So it's kind of things, small eigenvalues. Mm. And this category is abelian? This category is abelian, yeah. And this and this will be heart of T-structure <coughs> of some categories, <coughs> and it will have stability. Uh, 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 
Uh, and kind of and there is kind of easy theorem. Easy but not uh, immediate, yeah. Uh, we should be analog of this King's theorem. Uh, um, representation of P is a feature semi-stable. Yeah, it's not now it's about semi-stable, so this polystable exists on the complex numbers of this framework. If and only if there exists a model uh, 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 whose specialization <coughs> is C to semi-stable over the of the residue field. When whites are, are analogous to theorem of peak, here we have norms and here we have models. But for such field, uh, I'll just maybe uh, uh, very simple linear algebra. If we have finite dimensional space of the field, capital K, <laughs> then models of V over all K. Free free module of finite rank of four K for standard for conditions K are the same as norms on vector space B. On non uh, so if we have a norm no, a non Archimedean uh, setting, then we have unit ball. If we have a norm, unit ball, collection of vectors, norm of vectors less than one. And this will be <coughs> re or model. And conversely, for such fields, can any. I, I, I don't so, so, so suppose you have a, the example you mentioned, one-dimensional representation of the Jordan quiver yeah. with eigenvalue not uh, in four. Yeah. Uh, is this? Uh, oh, it's not my, in my category. If, if eigenvalue is not in four. Uh, e. Ah, so where does E belong in this theorem? To my category uh, AK. So ah, not, not any representation. Over, representation. over K, but with which, which, which property which, which admits some metric, yeah. some norm, which admits some norm. Okay. If the ruler doesn't have any loops, then, then that's automatic. Right? It's, it's not, yeah, but if there's yeah. oriented loop, one, all traces should be of normal less than one. Of all traces of all compositions should be normal. Okay. No, but even if there is no loops, there could be x, two-dimensional uh, two x, and then you would have uh, to be defined over... No, no, no. Uh, if you have extension of one guy to another, you can always uh, make a norm, uh, so that it's kind of has a bounded norm, you can rescale things in using non-Archimedean uh, triangle and you see this. Okay. It, uh, no, it's, it's really kind of full subcategory in all... In ah, okay. You can clear denominate, that's all right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So there's some kind of la language story. So models are the same as norms. Mm -hmm. If you have norms, then you get to screen ball and exactly all models. And then, uh, then one can make kind of this ball by the same thing. You can have strictly less than one. It will be a, 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 a vector space over a residue field. And this I call kind of, um, kind of reduction of my V associated with the norm. It's a vector space of the residue field and of the same dimension as V of the big field. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so that's. Oh, maybe I just. Repeat briefly for latecomers. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, what I said that all complex numbers you have a quiver, then there is a uh, um, characterization of uh, semi stable objects. The stability is. These are some kind of nice harmonic metrics. And the claim is of a non Archimedean field, consider representations which admit models of a uh, ring of integers, this also kind of. 
similar thick, the kind of nice norms and a uh, uh, more looking okay, norm replaced by some norm uh, and uh, and uh, and this property I will call this kind of harmonic norm. Yeah, yeah, it's just verse, not it's just not, no definition. So, so get this par uh, complete parallel story, and um, what is similar to? Sorry, uh, is it completely parallel to uh, the geometric case if we consider curves over uh, non media? Oh, there are many things to. No, 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 I mean, it's. it's, it's uh, 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 stay here. So you get the CK, you get CK, 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 uh, this is parallel to the thinking kind of Fukai world of the following thing. You get some variety with some volume elements and so on. And here uh, we, we, we pick uh, some uh, Lagrangian skeleton and put uh, object uh, in and consider home from rough Fukai of this Lagrangian skeleton to uh, perfect complexes over some residue field. It will be, mm -hmm. if it will be smooth, it will be finite, a local system of finite rank or stuff like this. It will be kind of first approximation to object of Fukai category. And here it's uh, what the C of K, we choose bounding chain. Uh, some kind of high series correction taking into account holomorphic disks. And here we just localize. We we have so we go, so this category is over ring of integers and now we allow kind of Hamiltonian as a topic and we get as a morphic object. This is small k, the C k. C small k, yeah. It's capital. And now harmonic objects uh, uh, and uh, here we get kind of, maybe we also can put coefficients, we get kind of fiber-wise stability. Yeah, so there are kind of things which look stable on the first level. And object is is stable here if it ad admits a model whose uh, leading um, kind of um, and first digits approximation is uh, 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 semi-stable. Yeah, so it's completely parallel to this whole pro project with stability for Fukai category and analogous is extremely strong, so Pranov will explain this. Yes. So, so why is it called harmonic? Is it, what's the harmonic? Ah, uh, because it's uh, you see it's um, mm. it's something which minimizes. Uh, yeah, there are many many reasons. Yeah, for example, this is analog of Kirmishki and Mills. It's harmonic matrix. In vector bundles, yeah. Sorry? If it's if if my uh, thing is uh, um, indecomposable, not direct sum, it's unique up to up to scale. So it's really kind of canonical up to scale representative. In direct sum, can different scales. What do you write there? Choose. Uh, choose. Uh, uh, it's uh, to make object here. We, we have this picture and then choose bounding a chain. Some, some kind of mysterious, very complicated. Uh, and see this on the uniqueness question, isn't there a subtlety where if the if the reduction is semi-stable but not stable, yeah. then uh, the metric might not be really Yeah, uh, yeah. The story is the following: in this non-archimedean world, this, uh, this, this distinction between polystable and semi-stable is kind of blurred. I can speak about only semi-stable, and it's and in this geometric picture, I think support of harmonic representative will be absolutely canonical, but uh, representative will be a little bit not canonical. Uh, and, and that theorem uh, you, you stated there, 
So if you have a stable, then uh, this will be an irreducible representation of the T and T. No. no, no, not necessary. No. Now, if it's reducible, then it's stable. But, uh, but, um, uh, but, uh, because it ha does have any sub-representation. Any reducible representation is automatically stable. But when you choose stability, you, uh, there will be get more objects than just just reducible representations, as stable objects. Now, like it's the same. For the same, it depends on stability condition. You. you, you you change central charges to get to a larger, smaller list of stable objects. But if you have a sub-representation, can't you take orthogonal complement? If you have a sub-permission no. point? Orthogonal, but why T will be preserved with this orthogonal complement? Yeah. Sorry, is there a difference between permission norms and norms? I mean, that's sub-representation. Ah, complex numbers, you can speak permission norms. Of C and, and T can speak norms. Together. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, sorry. But you require that these things specialize to Hermitian norms or something? No, no, no. Well, complex numbers, uh, this is only notion, a uh, uh, reasonable notion. Of course, there are Banach norms, but right. I'll speak only about Hermitian norms. Yeah. Okay. Maxim, I meant a uh, representation of the algebra generated by both T and T star. Ah, T, T star, yes, 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 yeah. Yeah, yes. Yeah, and, and, and principles, there is, uh, one can prove both theorems in, uh, uh, in kind of similar way, we can define some flaw on the space of norms, which uh, either converge to harmonic norm or norm will kind of expand to its different speed, it will be harder on a single filtration. So I can write uh, some equations which works in the same way in both of the complex and non equilibrium. Yeah, but now. Uh, what uh, what is my talk really about? I just introduced notions, harmonic norms. Uh, now imagine that you have category of CK, small k, and multiply by some kind of Foucault category of R2. I can kind of put the constant coefficients on R2, and maybe there will be some boundary conditions. I will pretty weak here. So. Mm. Omega here will be just some density on R2. And uh, I'll have a um, uh, complex structure and stability which will form dz dx plus y. Uh, you can see the such uh, guys. And if you try to see what are in the standard product, what will be semi-stable objects according to this uh, in this uh, <coughs> product with matrix coefficients and so on. What you get? You get something pretty neat. You get uh, um, uh, some kind of graph R2, and all edges will be straight intervals. And for each for each edge, uh, you you will associate object in your category. And the edges don't in themselves. Yeah. And they're vertices, they meet at vertices, yeah. So this has it happens in vertices, but just to help this for each edge you get a vertex, and if you consider kind of like thickly semi-stable, then argument of is e restricted to edge plus argument of E B, it will be semi stable, which should be equal to theta. So you get kind of, uh, um, uh, you, you arrange your semi stable object in your category, put on edges, in kind of opposite. Uh, are you giving a definition of each one as the thing stable and the bigger thing? In it, uh, yeah, 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 according to the product, stable object, uh, it has a product, should be look at uh, things like this. And at vertices, you should put kind of higher triangle uh, constraint. So is, is this a theorem? It's not a theorem, yeah. No, no, it's something which we want to uh, uh, prove that there is, a, is, 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 uh, there is such. Uh, it's not yet a theorem. Uh, and you just paste the graph to have arbitrary valency? Sorry? Everything needs to be trivalent or can arbitrary, 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 yeah. Are these edges oriented? 
Yeah, but, uh, yeah. So, so it's about orientation. Yeah. So first of all, mm. let's introduce an object of kind of total uh, slope pi, and uh, and orient all edges upwards. We can. And uh, then uh, object of my category which I put on uh, uh, arrows, it will be in the part of destruction. So this category A K. And theta between zero and pi, or two pi? No, no, no. Suppose theta, theta is pi. But in general, in this discussion, theta is in from zero to pi or to two pi. Actually, real number. Yes. In the stability structure, theta could be any real number. Yeah, it's it's res responsible for shifts. Yeah. And this yeah. identity should hold uh, on the nodes or modular two pi or something. Yeah, I'll say kind of, uh, 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 what really uh, if I'm oriented upwards and consider put object and le let's consider this condition, then if you put object E and a uh, slope here will be P pi minus argument of E, which is some number between 0 and pi, for particular in the part of destruction. Yeah, so, uh, so this ambiguity is completely resolved. And also, what is a uh, 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 slope mean angle? Angle, yeah, angle. So it's angle. Our argument of E. This, 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 this angle, or maybe this angle is, is equal to <laughs> That's kind of upside ah, down, yeah. Okay. <coughs> yeah, this is this is our uh, this is yeah. argument of z. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Going to put uh, the center charge will rotate by uh, make, make reflections. Let's. I'm still trying to understand the so so, so you're saying that there's the existence of the condition on this category. Yeah. No. Yeah. But, but yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So it will be list of stable objects with bounding cut chain, and the claim it will satisfy bridge of axiomatics. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and here actually in this story, um, when we go to slingish of abelian categories, it's much easier to say what goes on in vertices as high quivers. What goes on in vertex? You get several edges go going in, several edges go down. Uh, first, you get kind of conservation law. You get kind of you know e one minus e one minus e one plus plus sum of central charges. Well, you get these vectors, and some of your incoming vectors put to some outgoing vectors. But uh, well, moreover, mm. all this uh, k1 plus k2 things should form representation of quiver. It could be being in quiver k1 can plus k1. <coughs> and in fact, it's quiver. I recall you that for representation of being in quiver, one can put on the diagram arbitrary direction of arrows. And here it's convenient to take it like this. Mm. And um, all the structure of how they combine together is the following. You get just one object. EV in my opinion category plus two anti hardware asymmetry filtrations. Completely independent filtration. So this would be my object and two flags. Uh, uh, minus is and the associated graded will be E. E I minus E I plus. So what is anti hardware asymmetry filtration? It's a filtration uh, in object of uh, abelian ca category with stability. Fil finite filtration, such as associate graded are semi-stable, but order of arguments op is opposite to what we uh, in, uh, impose for that thing. This thing is not canonical, there are many of them. So we choose two arbitrary filtrations on one object. Yeah, that's, that's exactly the representation here. So it's kind of great simplification of this. 
And where does this identity come from? We did, we did not say anything about that before, right? Ah, no, 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 because uh, it was a long story that here it should get kind of structure of uh, rep uh, representation of derived category of drink and cleaver, AN. Ah. Yeah. And, uh, um, and if you analyze what is the representation, it should be the things and the quotients will be EI minus EI pluses. So the, uh, this is not an arbitrary graph. It should have a balance of n. Or something. Sorry? You should. Uh, no, n will be. Uh, it could be. It's degree of ver of vertex uh, minus one. Like, but, but it could not be the angles at each each vertex are not arbitrary. There is an equation for it. Right? No, angles at the vertex de defined by these pictures. So, uh, so no, no, but if you yes, 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 there will be a risk constraint on those. Yeah, angles. I could take let me take t equal to pi. So then it's the Billion category. What? You consider semi-stable. In a Billion category, yes, exactly. Yeah, I consider just, uh, uh, I just said that I decorate my edges by semi-stable object yeah. in a Billion category, and they kind of interact with each other in a very simple way, so there's one object in two filtrations into the assertion bracket. Okay. Yeah, so it's, uh, uh, yeah, so it's kind of really neat gadget. Uh, uh, can be called kind of decorated scattering diagram. We get central charges of semi-stable object and they form such mm. Mm. So, 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 so the incoming and uh, outgoing objects are the great factors? Graded, great factors, yeah. So it fits with your early story about this collapse uh, description of uh, Lagrangians. Yes, yes, it's exactly imagined like this category to not weaver representation but something else, some yeah. high category, some fiber, and that will be limits of special Lagrangian in the process. Okay, now I just, uh, what I really want to convey today is conjecture, which is not to get a theorem. Uh, uh, it's actually took long time even to go to write uh, formulations, conjecture. Uh, there was this uh, guy which I didn't talk much about, this density row. And uh, maybe one should take, like, why not to take constant density? Yeah. But in fact, in my constraints, it's I cannot take constant density for my conjecture, so something else. Assume the following. Or that integral over this density over any um, uh, an angle sector and plane which is strictly positive is infinite, and integral of the same thing over any strip is finite. Yeah, so constant density will not work. Uh, does it have to be strict or any any sector? Here, any sector of positive length. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here it's zero. Okay. Nice, yeah. Yeah, kind of example. Rho of x y one plus one plus x squared plus y squared. The simplest example, which. Sorry, minor thing. So it's a symplectic form, you choose some standard orientation because plus infinity, minus infinity. No, no, it's number, it's positive yeah. number. Integrate positive function. What, what do you is it, you mean this plus infinity? No, it's my, my problem standard that orientation on the plane. Ah, the standard orientation. Standard orientation on the plane. Yeah, it was actually one form. <laughs> X plus IY. No, you have, because you have too many... Uh, no, I, ha I have this uh, symplectic. Ah, all right. Yeah, there's only a kind of inverse orientation when you put the central charges here. Yeah, so, okay, uh, and now I do the, uh, so what is the conjecture? So it's, it's, uh, 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 this whole sequel depends heavily on this density row. Uh, so, conjecture says the following, given object in with the civilian category over big K. Oh, actually, I remove it, but. Yeah, uh, yeah it's representation which admits models yeah. on, yeah? 
in, in fact, it's very, very general, so this appears just for convenience. And plus two IMP hardware on single integration on it. And uh, so you get filtration over uh, big K, uh, big K, so you get uh, these filtrations E, E, uh, and harmonic norms on each plus minus. Social graded uh, 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 semi stable objects, and then um, it's, it's, uh, admit some harmonic norms. So I choose this harmonic norms. This should be in one to one correspondence with the scattering diagrams. On R2. Um, which look like this. There will be non-compact scattering diagrams. Uh, you will get finitely many uh, rays, uh, groups of parallel rays going to infinity. It will be exactly this direction as this anti was thing. And plus some kind of bounded patching, which I explain in a few minutes. That is me. Uh, uh, so it should be really one-to-one -one correspondence. Oh, 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 oh. What uh, more precisely I should explain to you, to you what is boundary chain in this language of non-communal geometry. So it's pretty simple. Uh, and uh, for this scattering diagram boundary chain, one can, work, can construct object plus two filtrations and two norms, and the uh, conjectures will be one-to-one -one correspondence. So, again, that, so do they meet at some convex polygon? Or yeah, so the decomposition some po convex polygon. So can you draw an example more, more uh, legibly of, of this diagram? Arbitrary of this thing. Mm. So mm. Bonds, yeah. Well, I mean, it, from this picture, it's not quite clear what's in the middle. Can you draw a simple example? Yeah, the simplest example will be like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but with uh, several uh, uh, parallel. Yeah, it could have several parallel. You can have subset like this. Yeah, it's over. Uh, so, uh, so it ends <laughs> on the side. <laughs> so yeah. It ends on the side of the polygon, or uh, or a vertex, or yeah, or it's the composition some convex polygons uh, 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 vertices. Just, just one polygon, or possibly uh, many, many, many uh, polygons. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. But any time a ray hits the polygon, it's a vertex, or or, or not? It's you, can, you can call it a vertex, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, vertex, you can maybe... Yeah, suppose there's a snow vertex of uh, degree 2. So, so setting aside this auxiliary category, is saying something like this non field is mirrored R2 with this symmetry Yeah, 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 yes, exactly. Yeah, and what is important, uh, you will have integrals of density rho or symplectic form various domains and they will be responsible for kind of logarithm of norms or something. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. No, let's Sorry? If you forget this auxiliary category, if you find a category for a two with this funny Oh no 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 two just no no polygons. It'll be just straight, straight lines. Only straight lines because there is no extensions yeah, in, the yeah. in the category. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, in fact, it's really interesting uh, example. Before I, I will explain what are this, how what is bounded catching in uh, in this non set setup, uh, let's do a really basic example: just vector spaces. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, it's 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 most important example. We consider vector space and put stability condition put number i. Yeah. So what is a vector space in all these things? Vector space is representation of pure which is one vertex. Over what? <coughs> Over non-Archimedean field. Okay. Yeah. 
uh, it will be B k to be a k will be vector spaces. And stability to the just uh, you have to call. Uh, uh, then, then let's read what conjecture says. The both have object have vector space. I have two anti harmonic filtrations. This is only one step filtration because it's only one argument. So you get just one step filtration. Now consider harmonic norms. Any norm is harmonic. Yeah, so, so I consider just vector space plus two norms. That 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 what my uh, uh, upper part has. Vector space plus two norms and should be split to some picture. So what is the second norm? Because there are ah, two two, two anti <laughs> Just two norms, yeah. And uh, uh, so there is a story in, in non-chemical world completely parallel to a complex world. In a complex numbers, if you have vector space with two Hermitian norms, you can simultaneously diagonalize them. And the same is true in non chemical Diagonalize. So one can maybe choose some kind of like coordinates in your vector space, basis and coordinates, and norm one vector x1 xm will be let's say maximum of xi and norm 2 of vector x1 xm will be maximum of i no, some, uh, some constants you know, ci times xi ci a positive number yes yeah, so, so any two norms can, can be put in this form and this uh, uh, so I get a slope of ci's uh, just a bunch of real numbers. Maybe with uh, some repeat. Yeah, so, uh, so it would be <coughs> like logarithm of eigenvalues of some self adjoint operator in this case. And the picture here is like this. So I get just, uh, if I get n dimensional space, I get n numbers, maybe some of them coincide. And picture will be. some barcode, bunch of parallel vertical lines. This will be my scattering diagram. So here, this point zero in my R2, maybe inside this thing. And mm, how, how this um, uh, positions of these lines are related to this logarithm of this eigenvalue? Uh, if you have a line, vertical line, x equal to some constant, x i, say, real number, uh, uh, you can make the following integral. You can make integral of, of this domain over density. If x is positive and minus c sig is negative, uh, it will be some number and this integration of uh, volumes of this vertical steps gives you uh, uh, kind of homeomorphism r with coordinate x to r yeah, kind of integrate over y. <coughs> so, so what is written? x equal constant x i? Uh, which is called kind of x i. Yeah. Uh, which is different from the which is yeah, 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 different x i. Yeah. And this integral should be equal to logarithm I. So one can identify real numbers which are logarithm of C of this uh, uh, values with position of this uh, sliding um, vertical so line by integrate over the whole strip. Over the whole strip, and uh, it, it will be neg negative here. Uh, so we, we are going to have some some lines could be coinciding. Of course, it, it will correspond to the six which coincide. It will be not one dimensional, but two dimensional, three dimensional space. So lines are with multiples. Yeah, and sum of multiplicity is equal to the dimension. And what you have, you have a really vector space of the residue field. Uh, here. Okay. And now, uh, and, and of course, we, if the uh, line is on the left of the point, we count the integral with minus. With minus, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, yeah. No, the the story is the following. I give you a conjecture, but I, I uh, uh, it's kind of very. It looks uh, very solid and uh, true, but uh, it doesn't fit to the framework of Foucault categories and stabilities. Somehow it's it's uh, because, for example, if you consider the subject, you calculate what is the central charge, you get infinite infinity. Because you integrate no. over the whole line forms dz. I, I just ah, you mean it doesn't hit the conjecture? It's, uh, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it, it doesn't. Uh, it's conjecture. It's somehow. Um, I think it will be very helpful to, to prove the existence of such things, but it somehow doesn't literally fit to the whole project. It's, it, I don't know what it was. It's stability of something or not. It, it just conjecture by itself. But sense. you didn't explain the condition that the integral was finite over the strip. Integral find of symplectic form, but of a central charge is infinite. Hmm. But wouldn't this be sort of more like the local picture of what you were saying before as to how it sort of blows up? Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, it's kind of a, a, a limited picture. What, why do you need that integral over non zero angle is uh, infinite? Mm. That's, uh, yeah, ah, the, the story is that I, I want in these pictures. Uh, uh, if you count parameters, should be only st uh, uh, strips will will count as parameters. This, when you get positive angles, this will be infinite area to the not free parameter for. Uh -huh. Correspondence. Uh, I'll, I'll tell uh, something about the scattering diagrams. We have this conservation law, yeah, which I draw here. And then for each vertex in the scattering diagram, you associate in polygon. Uh, what you do, you consider these vectors like incoming vectors and consider outgoing vectors. Because the total sum fits, you get. Uh, certain convex polygon. And, uh, and this convex polygon is not arbitrary. All edges are central charges of, sta of, of polystable objects. Kind of, uh, this I get kind of stable. Yeah. Tile, I'll call it tile, because uh, uh, one can uh, analyze the whole picture, this uh, kind of non-compact picture, and it turns out the following. We consider this big uh, polygon, uh, big tile associated uh, to uh, anti hardon infiltration on my object OK. So what's the difference between tile and big tile? Ah, no, it's because it's big, <coughs> big field, I don't know. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> what? Yeah, no, no, okay. no, if you consider object, it gives me some tile ah, again. Yeah. So it's over small k, this is over big k. Yeah, okay, good. and now, and, and now uh, when we draw this diagram, it turns out each vertex gives you some sub-polygon, and we decompose into some small, uh, it's kind of a um, uh, legendar dual picture. You get the composition of this big guy into smaller. Uh, tiles, and then if we kind of try to think, uh, 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 it's a, and then we can find amazing color area. That uh, here one can try to put different norms on the subject, and in particular, if you have at least four uh, uh, terms in hardware similar filtration for the big thing, and uh, there's some little exception, let's say at least five, consider the uh, big five gone. But uh, then there are the uh, parameters how you choose norms and to produce uh, some kind of non-trivial scattering diagrams. The claim that any at least five on tile can be decomposed in very small tiles which are three gons and, and parallelograms. Gons and 
parallelograms. In fact, the same true is for foregones, which is not parallelogram. Uh, or, uh, yeah, so there's a really there are kind of minimal pictures which are almost equivalent. So everything is convex. Yeah? Convex, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so it's surprising corollary of all this game that uh, in the stability, any big uh, thing with two filtration or can decompose to small thing. Mm. So and I will, I wouldn't be surprised that Penrose styling will also fit this picture for some <laughs> nice category. Yeah, it's pretty pl plausible in fact. Yeah. So I don't understand. This is a kind of elementary geometric corollary, or, or what? Yes, yes, yes. It's elementary geometric corollary for stability structure. That uh, uh, for the stability tiles, in, in at least five gold tiles, you can decompose in the three gonds and parallelograms. But but what is uh, from elementary point of view? What is the condition that this styling should satisfy? The I don't know. Should no, satisfy no. this uh, equation or, or what? Yeah, no, 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 no. This freedom to choose this uh, uh, norms uh, I, uh, shows that uh, if one can think a little bit, that uh, eventually one can make uh, things with degree most. Sorry. Yeah, for Penrose styles, it's all these what five symmetry get only finitely many after shift styles. Yeah. There are some non-convex foregones that can be composed by uh, triangles, and uh, it's quite possible that there is some nice triangulated category. I don't know, maybe Calabio's three. <laughs> Just I'm joking. Yeah, but from the point of view of uh, higher science, it's a depiction of the possibility to have semi-stables over yeah. over a small field yeah. and be lifted over a large. Yeah. So, so what are the constraints on the styling? So I mean, any any polygon can be cut into triangles. It's, it's yeah, no, no, but, but this is not good, right? No, no, but uh, but edges of strength should be uh, exactly parallel to central charges of stable objects. Ah, okay. Yeah, so it's very special thing that, and we get triangle should get exact triangle of stable object in your category. A and do you require this balancing uh, at every vertex? The balancing equation. No, no, it's kind of dual balancing. Uh, 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 it's equivalent to decomposition. Uh, this. Uh, Legendre transform ah, yeah. make the scattering drag is the same as decomp decom decomposing big polygon, in big t uh, tile into small tiles. Yeah. So the number of internal depths is not fixed. It's not fixed. We don't know. Yeah. And, and, uh, yeah. So it's surprising that such thing exists. Yeah. Depends on the world. Yeah. So this graph is kind of Poincaré dual. To yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So now I want to say, well, what does it mean boundary chain and uh, how to correspond to this? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so the several ideas here. Ah, yeah, so the whole, whole story that. First one can think about kind of like curved scattering diagrams. It will be lines not really straight and objects will be not really semi stable, but still get uh, straight, not semi stable. And we still want to define notion of bounding chain for this story. And the idea is that if you have kind of vertical coordinate y and present x. But then you still don't know since you're balancing it. And it's still balancing uh, the yeah, yeah. vertices, yeah. And uh, now I want to, uh, uh, mm. the idea is the following. These things should, should be the same, this kind of formulation, as a piecewise C infinity pass in the space of norms my object E. It's kind of building. Space of norms. Uh, it's, a, it's actually a nice space. It's complete metric space. Uh, one can say, we, say one norm is close to another and it's complete metric space. So it's locally compact. Yeah, so this, but it's... What, what do I mean infinity pass? Yeah, uh, because building consists of a, a bunch of kind of uh, apartments. 
uh, let's say what is a path in normal some individual vector space because here you can put case. Is it some kind of polyhedral complex, a finite dimensional polyhedral complex? But this kind of infinite ramification, yeah. yeah. If field is finite, it's very finite. Finite polyhedral complex, but if field is infinite, it's uh, like gratis tree. Yeah, I see the vector space of an arc field, field is called building. But it's a locally, locally it's a polyhedral complex, yeah? I, inductive limit, yeah, it's... it's well, it depends what you mean by polyhedral. By polyhedral, it's not finite. But it's it's infinite infinite and edges coming through. Ah. Uh, yeah, depends on cardinality of your residue field. Right? So it's a tree with infinite ramification. Infinite many edges coming to the mm -hmm. But it is still locally compact? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, this thing is locally compact, general, yes, yeah. yes. Because you see that norms of such vectors between such number and another vector. Yeah, it's a definitely locally compact. Right. How did you get this curved scattering? Curved, no, like curved is kind of maybe not really straight. Uh, in what is piecewise C infinity? Mm. I, I, um, so we get finite limit, it's continuous pass, and there will be a finite unified intervals on which is C infinity, which is C infinity. Uh, there existed kind of uh, coordinates or bases in BB, each in each in BB. Uh, and such that uh, norm is diagonal, norm depending on Y. Uh, uh, and y goes to normal y. It's, it's normal it's associated to kind of horizontal sections. Normal depending <coughs> on y is diagonal. And diagonal terms will be C infinity functions on. Sure. What is normal depending? I miss. Ah, why is go do normal depending on y, yeah? <coughs> U y. And is yeah, and diagonal terms are Uh, uh, C infinity. Yeah, so, get, uh, so it's lo uh, it sits in finitely many uh, uh, this, uh, up chambers, apartments, whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty elementary notion. And if it norm moves, uh, then it has a derivative with respect to mu, y. And derivative. Uh, how to interpret the derivative? Is this kind of uh, invariant way? What is the first derivative? Of course, consider first derivative of diagonal terms. But in invariant ways, this first derivative gives you R filtration on uh, uh, reduction respect to this norm of my representation. I got representation of the residue field, and the speed will be uh, filtration by finitely many steps labeled by real numbers. So, so does this uh, have to do with the tangent direction of the tangent line to these curves? That you Positions of these curves, not, not tangent. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's mm. I'll so just I'll try to see. Tell you. So right how are these C infinity functions related to this curve? Yes, yes, it's, it's what I'm just going to tell you right now. Yeah. So the relation is the following. Uh, uh, so for each y, kind of, um, of outside of kind of critical values, uh, and I generic, you get finite collection of of real numbers. Uh, this uh, terms of our filtration of uh, numbers. Mu dot respect to mu by the sense which belongs to R. There is a finite collection of numbers which steps of these filtrations. Yeah, for which y you get. So kind of can, can you write kind of so that it's possible to do? Okay. These numbers, it's like eigenvalues of that matrix. Uh, I kind of a little bit changing. Uh, no, 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 matrix is for individual vector space, but in, in vector space, I mean, mm. it's more of the same, yeah, I, I just, yeah, yeah, I, I change in the vector space uh, no, norms, I get some real numbers, yeah. Of real numbers. 
And numbers, I don't know, do you know something like mu i of y? Mu i will be, y will be a term of arc filtration in this reduction. What do you mean term? Label, label, label. Label of non-trivial terms. And these are the meeting points with the curve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but but some, uh, we need some kind of reparameterization because it's a coordinate accent, and and parameterization is uh, the following. Uh, they correspond to some kind of x y y, which will be meeting point of my curve, one of y, slope y, one. Okay. Uh, but I need to identify again one numbers to another. You uh, use this integration of this density, and the um, um, uh, the, the, the correspondence is the following. This um, um, mu i is integral from 0 to x i y rho x prime y dx prime. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 it will be again some kind of diffeomorphism, maybe this interval, not the whole real line. <coughs> yeah, so and and the curves all have to go up? Up, yeah. yeah. They cannot uh, turn back. No, no, no. Yeah, so I get a pass, and um, at least some pass when, uh, when the things, you, you see that mu i is kind of bounded, it's kind of go to, to minus infinity, it should be bounded. Yeah, so consider kind of speed with uh, a bound, uh, um, pass with bounded speed gives you a scattering diagram. So, yeah, and what's uh, yeah. functional yeah, no, 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 just want to say that, and this will be definition of bounding a chain. I don't want to care about, uh, so it was kind of uh, uh, Fabian, Inside that, we don't have to care about uh, this counting holomorphic disk. You say if you have pass and norms, it gives us this diagram, and uh, because this comes from some one object in of a non recurrent field, it will be encoding of this bounding chain data at once. Yeah, so it will be much simpler than Carlos talked. <laughs> in <laughs> on Monday, yeah, so it's it, it, this different definition of bounding chain and uh, now so we want to uh, how to characterize yeah. characterization of of special of kind of special Lagrangians uh, scattering diagrams when you get straight lines and yeah. full story diagrams it turns out that you minimize certain action on space of pass and action functional is the following uh, <coughs> uh, yeah, I have this density. Uh, uh, I can now write an example when rho x y is equal to one plus one x square plus y square, and this, I think, what was, why was tan tangent hyperbolic of change some vertical coordinate, and mm, yeah, there is certain uh, action functional, like integral over d tau, and mm, and to take some of all branches of my scattering diagram, and integrate uh, a real part of central. I don't assume that objects are semi-stable. Unit part of semi-stable charge of objects. Putting on uh, edge. Yeah, it's some formula. Sun hyperbolic. Now that. you should probably finish pretty soon. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I finish it right now. Yeah. The new orbital. Central part. Yeah, some kind of. Explicit synthesis. Whatever. Maybe I just have to rewrite it. Yeah, so, some kind of actual functional, but roughly it's integral of square of derivative. And it's kind of convex. And in usual differential geometry, it, it, the space target space is negative curvature. So it should have kind of unique geodesic. And there was some similar stuff by Kapovich and Milson, uh, this unique geodesics. And, um, and uh, we expect that solution exists and unique, and we are very, very close, but not yet here, I have to say, in this 
general analysis. And uh, one can formulate in, uh, some very large simple uh, situation. We have here a normal Euclidean uh, field, one instead of one can make, can make baby versions instead of norms, consider R filtrations. Uh, like at, if we, and then one can go to modular lattices. Yeah, so, so the, uh, there's some further generalization of existence of uniqueness at like kind of shortest geodesic somewhere, in certain sense, of Finsleyan metric on this building. And, uh, and this will be exactly, exactly this scattering drag daggers and tilings. Maxim, yeah. uh, in algebraic geometry you can consider a parallel story. I understand that your motivation was Foucault, but yes. you can consider curves with stability. And what is function rho in algebraic geometry? <laughs> I don't yeah, know. No, 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 for different functions you get different pictures. Yes, that's the point. It's extra story which you can... No, no, but I think uh, Jan uh, means that instead of category CK, you take the category uh, yeah, of no, the other bundles. No, the whole story is very, very general for arbitrary category with no, stability, condition. Condi stability condition and deformation. Mm -hmm. so, 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 so